What is good y'all, Radical Hitchhawk here, welcome back to another video on the channel and today back in another video, now it's been a while since I made a video because Kyle is working and everything so, but since the semester is already over and I'm on break, I get to do more videos and live streams so I expect more you know of those pretty soon. And second of all is the Crash Bandicoot video, now I know before y'all be saying you know, Radical isn't your channel dedicated to Sonic the Hedgehog now? I love Sonic the Hedgehog, like he's my favorite gaming franchise of all time, but my two favorite other gaming franchises are Mega Man, specifically Mega Man X, and Crash Bandicoot. Now expect more videos on both of them pretty soon, especially since like the latter, you know, has a game coming out, it's Crash Team Rumble, which was announced a couple weeks ago, I posted a reaction, uh, the day it actually uh, dropped, and yeah, I'm excited to do some Crash content. I feel like you know, expect more variety in my channel pretty soon. Since Frontiers been you know came and went, I thought it'd be a good idea. Now, doesn't mean the end of Sonic videos. Expect a lot of Sonic videos too. Sonic videos are still happening, but you know, expect more variety into my channel. You know, for the coming months, which would be pretty nice. So, I thought we did a good idea to do Crash videos. So. In this video, I'm be you know playing most of the mainline Crash games, but if I touch a single box, I have to go to the next game of the franchise, and it's gonna be pretty fun because I mean I'm going for you know the original trilogy, um, Graphic Cortex, Twin Sandy. I throw in the GBA Crash games, you know Crash the Huge Adventure and Entrance, and also add it in Crash Four, obviously, which is the latest one. I didn't add it in Crash of Titans or Mind of Mutant because those are have a different gameplay style compared to the original trilogy. And uh, also didn't add in CTR Nitro Field because that's a racing game. I mean, the only like rates you can uh, like break is the uh, item boxes, but that's pretty much it. So I'm going for mainly the mainline Crash games. And so I've a good idea. So enough chit chatting. Let's go ahead. And get onto this starting Crash Bandicoot 1. And if you see here, I'm playing the Insane Trilogy versions of the first three Crash games. Kind of thought it'd be, you know, for a second consistency, and plus, you know, they're more recent, they're, you know, newer and shinier, and you know, I want to play them. So, so yeah, here on Crash 1. Now, Crash 1 is actually, I love Crash 1, it's like my top three favorite in the Crash, uh, my top three favorite Crash games, mainline. Well, specifically, like, top four, because three is CTR, Nitro Field. Well, two is Nitro Field, well, three is, you know, Crash 2. And number one is Crash 4. And, uh, yeah, and Crash 1, I have a soft spot for. I mean, it's pretty, you know, difficult in some sections, but oh shit, boxes. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Uh, there was our first L for the day. Whoa! 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 So yeah, we're on to Crash 2, and uh, this is my fourth favorite, like I said before, it's my fourth favorite uh, Crash game. No, third favorite Crash game, shit, I can't talk today. Yeah, Crash 2, in terms of main one, like, main, the main platforming Crash games, it's my second favorite. Mainline. We don't count, you know, and there we go. We actually, but then again, that's a tutorial stage, so we gotta, you know, play the actual real stage. I prefer the original Crash 2 a bit more because the controls in the uh, Crash 2 are, the original Crash 2 are more snappier and more, um, you know, more like better too. But I like the, you know, the insane trilogy physics too. Even though, yeah. So yeah, here's our first stage, so... Yeah, so don't touch a single box. Not even the, uh... Those boxes right there, you're like, you have to bounce through for a like, wumpa fruit. You don't touch that at all. Nitro crates, oh, hold up. 
Okay, dance the box, because the enemies can usually either like hit a box, you know, either way, which we do not want to do. So, yeah. Not if there's any like, you know, like box, crazy box, uh, like path that's to like block, but yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go again. Oh my god. Up, oh, up. Oh. oh man. No! 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 On to Crash Warp, which is, in my opinion, the weakest in the original, like, Naughty Dog trilogy. It's just the, I mean, the game is not bad. Like, it, it's good. Like, I like the game, but, like,. The problem is that, like, the game is, like, way too... There's way too many vehicle levels, and I do not like majority of them at all. Like, it can get very tiring. I mean, in terms of, like, completion, it's pretty much a drag. It's more a bit easier, but, like, it's still a drag at the same time, too. That's why I felt when I got the Platinum Trophy for this game on PS5. But, like, yeah, and also, like, I mean... That too, and like, that's why my least favorite, like, in the trilogy. Now, I do like the, what's it called? I like the, um, extra abilities you get, but that's like it. Like, that's pretty much it. I realize I don't have it. I mean, I, put, I started a new game, so pretty much. Yeah, so. Hopefully, don't make the same mistake again as the first two times. I don't think in like the original like games you can, you can actually bypass that, but since you know Insane Trilogy, you know they have you know different physics, it's uh, expected. Yeah, this is probably a breeze too, because I mean like there's no like oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute, up, oh, yep, yep. Run close to the gold ring, so. Yep. And there we go! There we go! We made it without touching a single box, so. One game to down! <laughs> and now, since we're done with Crash 3, we get to go play. Crash 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 game. And that Vortex. is Crash the Rafa Cortex. And you may have a lot of things to say about this game. Like. I am not a fan of this game at all. Now I'm just gonna go put my, you know, normal name. This is me or the L's like cowboy boot. But anyways, yeah. Rafa Cortex is my least favorite Crash Bandicoot game. Like, no joke. I mean, I haven't played Crash of Titans in Matter of Mutant at all. But for now, Rafa Cortex is my least favorite. And for a lot of reasons. Um, First things first is that, like, they take everything that, uh, I didn't like about Crash 3 and ram it up to 11, which means they brought back the vehicle levels from Crash 3 Crash in this game, Bandicoot, my but made them nemesis. even worse you? than, you know, crystals? in the predecessor. Hard, and the platforming is, being is, you know, fine, but it's not as good Meet as... Crunch. The usual trilogy, or even Crash 4, which is, you know, talking about the real Crash Man before. This is the creature who keeps you know sabotaging I mean? your master yeah. plan. <laughs> so yeah, this game just kidding. isn't for me. And, like, field right in no time. Not a game that I like to play. So no, yeah. Crunch. We're on to Arctic Antics and uh yeah, this uh loading screen right now. Obviously I'm playing on you know the PSU emulator because and so that means load times are more faster. But I know on, on original hardware, load times are ridiculously long. Which hey, okay, that's how I emulators for. <laughs> but yeah, we're on to Arctic Antics. Um an alright, you know, first stage. I mean it's your typical first Crash Bandicoot stage. There's nothing really special. I mean, it's fun, but like, I mean, it's just your average first stage. And it's good. I mean, I'll tell you that. 
and music does slap too. I don't know what to say about Rapper Cortex is that this has a pretty, you know, killer soundtrack. Even though it may not be on levels of, you know, like the original trilogy, like Crash 1 and, you know, music is my favorite out of the Crash uh, trilogy. Well, that is uh, Crash 4. It's about time. Oh yeah, I like the music in this game. Not like music that I like listen to like a lot. Repeatedly, but I wanted to listen to like video game music. But like, it's a good you know soundtrack. It's one of the few games you know that have a pretty as mediocre, but has a killer soundtrack. Like Mega Man X6. And uh, yeah, we completed Arctic Antics. Well. Touching a single box in Graphic Cortex. Good thing I'm not able to play this game again. Maybe I might do it on stream one day. But yeah, another game down. <laughs> so we're on to Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure, which is the game on the Game Boy Advance. It's a 2D platformer. Now, I think I remember playing this game years ago. And I don't remember I liked it or not. So. This is my first time playing it in years, so we'll see if I enjoy it. Well, it depends on if I uh, hit a box, really through the stage. So, yeah, two D side scorer crash game. Okay, sorry, I'm just saying. Oh, box is stack already. Ugh. Ah, oh, man. So we're on to the sequel, Crash Bandicoot 2 Entrance. Now I've never played this one before, so this is my first time playing this game, so bear with me. Let's hope we don't screw up like the last time because it was crazy because I already had a two game streak with uh, Crash Stream Rapid Cortex. Oh, this got to be a tutorial stage, isn't it? Oh, uh, ready. Spin the brick crate, nope. Ask you. Jump. Nope, is that right there? Nope. You're doing good progress. Oh man. Why? Screw it. On to the next game. No! 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 This is gonna sound crazy. Even though I'm a huge Crash Bandicoot fan, I have barely, and I mean barely played Twin Sanity. Well, to be fair, I got into the Crash series with Insane Trilogy and the Nitro Field and obviously Crash Bandicoot Force by the time, so I never, you know, had the interest of playing any of the older Crash games, except for the Rapid Cortex and this one, but I only play these two on emulator. Just to test out how the games are, pretty much. I mean, even though I played uh, a little bit more Rapid Cortex than Twin Sanity, like Twin Sanity only played like the first like, couple minutes of it. That's it. So I never really got a chance to like, play, like, play these games from start to finish. Only played them for like, you know, just to, like, test them out, like, get the feel of the game, so... I know a lot of people say, like, you know, this is your favorite Crash game, which I do see. I mean, it's open world and everything, even though this game came out before open world games became a, uh, a huge thing. Yo, Cortex gets a W because Coco is a nice. bitch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No Coco disrespect, though. Alright, onto the game. I did not touch that. I did not touch that. We don't count that. So, let's move on. So, this is the game, you know, open world, which I like. I mean, I like a fair share of open world games. I mean, Sonic Frontiers, Spider Man, Horizon for the West. Yeah, I like a fair show of, you know, open world games I like. Not like, you know, Elden Ring, like, you know, whatever, you know, open world games you have, like. Yeah. The slide, you know, the, like, the jump after the slide just feels, like, weird. I have to, like, get used to it. Oh, Metro Boxes. So, yeah. I think we like get it a pass. I, Aku Aku. My duty is to protect you. 
You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice. Sorry, Aku Aku. We ain't touching in your crates because I'm going for a box challenge. So, I mean, come on, I'm Crash Bandicoot. I can spin like the Tasmanian Devil. Like, I don't need no Aku Aku crates. Dude was just walking <laughs> straight to the tree. I did not touch that. I did not touch that. Like I said before, I did not touch that. But yeah, um, this is probably pretty easy to do since, like, since it's an open world game and open world games, like, well, which means we'll mean, like, what's it called? We'll, you know, be able to, like, miss boxes very easily. <clears throat> Simple crash platforming. Dude. Get those boxes. Oh! Oh! Thank God. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little glowing mushrooms. I don't think you ever see that in Mushroom Hill Zone. <laughs> the cave full of glowing mushrooms. I keep forgetting like what button needs to spin. Spin that. But yeah. Alrighty, slide. Alrighty. Oh, slam. Oh, got our uh, first gem. I think I saw one before. What was it? it was like where the boxes are at, which. Oh no. Can we skip this? No. Plus, like, the jump is probably too low. Oh my god. Oh, wait, double jump. Oh, nope. Hold up. If we can try. Nope. My god. Oh, no. Nah. Yep. Yeah. That's our, uh, that's it for the game. No! No! Alright, we want to the GOAT, also the official name Crash Bandicoot 4 is about time, and I'm playing on the PS5 version because I love showing off to you people who are watching the video right now. I'm just kidding, the reason I'm playing this version is because, in my opinion, this is the definitive version of the game. Like, you know, there's exclusive costumes, there's adaptive trigger support, there's faster load times, I mean, PS5 has SSD, so, what do you expect, but like, it's a more complete version of the game compared to the PC version. I have it on Steam. Too, and it's in the Switch. And you know, the PC version is really good, but like, the PS5 version is like more complete. Due to reasons I uh, mentioned earlier. But yeah, I started a new save file, and continue, and here we are, the Rude Awakening. Alright, on to Rude Awakening. Dun, 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 I love this stage so much. I love this game too. It's been a while since I played this game. It feels like good, you know, getting back to it. Like, the controls are so smooth. Oh, don't hit that. Thank you. Yeah, the controls are so smooth. I mean, like, the double jump. So smooth, the slide. Double jump is so good, too. The spin, the spin. And, like, the movement and everything just feels so... Just feels so good. Like, these are probably the best controls in a video game, in my honest opinion. Or well, for a platformer, specifically. But yeah, so far so good. No uh, wall of boxes in sight. Oh no. Alright, we maybe we can pass this. Up, up. Aw, oh, man. No! 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 